Who will I go to war with next? I don't know. No. <laughs> my maintenance is at zero, so there is no reinforcement. And that's the reason my maintenance jumps up to minus 40-something when I do. Um, I honestly can't afford a war, and I'm beginning to understand those of you who are saying that I need to get rid of some of my troops. I'm beginning to feel that is true. So what I might do is get rid of some of my regular cavalry, because I do have some Cossacks, I just don't have that many. I mean, what I could do is get rid of some of the regular guys, then raise Cossack host. Though I can't do that because my influence is way too low. The other thing which a war would allow me is war taxes. Well, the thing is, I'm still trying to pay off a loan, which is why I'm still trying to turn a profit, but the profit is negligible. But yeah, I have 10,000 men that still need to be reinforced. Let's bid five. Um, next war, do I have... Claims on Lithuania. Let's actually have a look where I have claims. I do on Lithuania. Quite a few of them. Uh, yeah. All right. Let's go off to Lithuania. I need to make a war with them in the next fifteen years, anyway. All right then. Select the armies. One of you go there, 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 there and there. See you, Aldra. And I'm looking forward to see what you come up with. I, it's going to be really interesting to see what everyone's come up with, actually, for the Custom Nations. Really looking forward to seeing the unveiling. Colonial Heavy. Interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, Third Rome's colonization stuff looks immense. Absolutely immense. Oh, I've almost finished reinforcing already. Well, that was quick. Huzzah for Russia and ridiculous amounts of manpower. The Donk Punch! Thank you very much for the follow. Let's do that. No, don't go Siberian. Frontier because it is janky as all hell. <laughs> Especially if you're colonizing in the, in the Americas. Actually, you need a direct land route so it wouldn't work in the Americas unless you start in America. Although you in Africa, yeah, it would be a little bit too easy, I think. I mean, you can do it, just be expected to be hated upon by all others. Although that's probably going to happen anyway because you're aggressive as all hell. Mm, do I want to spend military points when I'm so close to going up in mil tech? This would get me the corruption defeating thing, though. It's a year away. Yes, simply for the corruption. Though the 10% corruption doesn't help with that either. Who is playing in the series? Uh, Aldra is. <laughs> Aldra, Ben Magnus, Bundeswehr Bob, and one or two others. Commissar Roach, I think. I'm just going to bring that up and have a look. Where are you, list? Because we had one or two people pull out. That's why I'm not 100% sure who's actually playing. All right, it's Roach, Mordred, Aldra Hill, Neems, Ben, and Bob. Army positioning looks very hard to find for. Or Victoria. This is also a classic Victoria formation. 
Poland would not answer. Mazovia is forced to, and Saxony would be in the fight. How big Saxony? Not big enough. I'm freaking Russia. Why am I worried about Saxony? I'm not worried about Saxony. Okay, um... I could get the Ottomans and Denmark both to help. I don't think I need to. Make OP cannon to the land fire damage and cannons in back row. Or, because I kind of suspect that everyone else is going to be doing that, take the uh, fire damage resistance and then completely screw them. And yes, I know I need to get my morale back. We can do this on 50% morale, right? Right? I'm not unmothballing un the forts. I will have absolutely no need to. I can't afford to fight a war with moth um, active forts. Just going to double check. Rebels. That's fine. I think we're good to go. Generals. No, we're not. Except I just spent all of my points. Ha! I'm going to be fighting this with one general. This is going to be interesting. I'm going to wait two months so I can get at least one more general, and then we're going to go. Now. What? Oh, they cost 54. Come on. Two points short. There we go. And he's not great. Marvellous. Alright. Lithuania. Declare war. Take Balak. Actually, what has a fort? Vilnius. Because they're easier to hold. I'm not calling in the allies. Boom. See, Aldra. Right. First of all, reduce army maintenance because I'm just going to flood them with troops. Uh, hopefully to offset any morale penalties. Plus, I have a pretty good artillery core, so I should be able to get quite a lot of damage done in the back row. And also, mothball all 11 forts, because screw the forts. Let's do that, and then I can increase morale as we start to actually loot stuff. That's my plan, and I'm sticking to it. Right, we have a general down here. We'll have you as a general over here. I'm going to slow this to speed 4 so I can actually react to the Lithuanian militaries, like that one. Oh, you're the six-man army. Hi. Don't stack wipe me, please. This was a terrible idea. Don't try this at home, kids. Oh, I have loads of money now from the loot. Thank you, looting. Yes, I can afford to pay my armies! Huzzah! Right, am I actually gonna stand a chance here? I don't think so. Oh, I am! I am! I am! I am! I am! <laughs> yes! <laughs> I know morale was at half. I did that on purpose. <laughs> I didn't want to pay them. One thing that I have plenty of is manpower, so I was just going to throw troops at them and just hope. And it worked! It worked! <laughs> oh no, I can't afford them again. Stop paying them. <laughs> right, now I'm going to not advance until we finish looting stuff. Because this war is all about the money. Livonians are offering me condottieri. Ah, oh, I, I, I would like to hire you, but I really cannot afford it right now. Oh, we have two people here. Hi. Uh, yeah, start sieging Vilnius. That sounds like a good idea, actually. <laughs> yeah, obviously, Bussy always wishes for the best for me. <laughs> and we're making money again. <laughs> right, so if I see, like, the Lithuanian army marching again, then maybe I'll turn maintenance up slightly. I'll turn it up slightly. Up to there, that'll do. Nope, oh, we're losing money again. Maud, what's the highest number of viewers I've ever had on Twitch? I think it's around 50. I had that on Christmas Day. Christmas Day remains the best stream I've ever done. 
Like, terrible for my social life. Amazing for the number of Twitch viewers. Smuggling is an activity where even the most simple-minded can decide to pursue. The only difference is they get caught. More worrying than those are the genuine talent. So we can lose money, lose Diplo. We can have spy network construction increase. Lose same amount of money, lose less prestige. Or we could take the tax and national... Uh, I'm going to have to fight them. I'll take this one because I don't really want to lose the Diplo power. Prestige I can get back again, I'm at war. Oh, and I had money. Yeah, that's fine. More taxes, thank you. Oh, I can't do it. Money. I need more points, which I just spent on my general. Alright, how's the looting going? Oh, it's done. Done. Not quite. Done. Not quite. Not quite. Not quite. Marvellous. This is the most ridiculous war I've ever fought. Going into this with half morale and then actually winning the first fight. <laughs> the general was worth it. Uh, yeah, that's true. It was him who fought it. It wasn't even the good general. That's funny. Like, this is definitely a how not to play this game. I'm just playing this on, like, speed 4, speed 5, doing virtually no micromanagement. I guess it's a master cl class in economics, but that's about it. Still looting, still looting. You're done. Still looting. Right, which one was almost done? You. Ah, one more turn. Devastation here is going to be atrocious. And I'm going to be adopting that devastation once the war is over. Oh well. Never mind. Nope, I can't advance anymore. Let's go to Kornos. I, I generally play smaller nations where you would just get ruffle stomped if you played on speed 5 all the time. But playing as Russia here, I'm just like, eh. Alright, let's go to speed 4. The really hairy bit in the beginning, I think, is done. Alright, now I do need to save monarch points. Kind of Oh, right, yeah, because the cost is so high. Has it started spreading yet? I'm going to have to take out more loans to embrace freaking colonialism. Ugh. Well, it started to spread at least. I dread to think how much it's going to cost. Religion of Ryzan changed to reformed. Can I convert it? Yeah, in nine months. My missionary strength is obscene. Petition for privileges. 10,000 manpower, loyalty and influence, or lose it. Um. I mean, yeah, we've, we've taken a couple of losses, so I take it. Influence right now for the Cossacks isn't that high. I accept. So now I could recruit a bunch of the Cossack guys. Uh, actually, no, I can't. I could get the army tradition, though, which would allow me to get better generals. Do it. Right. Looting. Still done. You're finished. Except we can't get forwards because Vilnius is still waiting. And then after this, who was it that we're also fighting? Saxony and Mazovia. If I can get to Saxony, then that's some very, very rich lands that I can then start looting. Huzzah. Actually, um, you guys down here, you need to start stacking up over this way in case we get attacked. So I can have the, the Russian man train charging in. Tell no guy to convert to orthodoxy. The re reason I don't want to do that is because it will increase their... Liberty desire by 50, although, no, by 100. Crap, I thought it was 50. So, no, I don't want to do that because then I would not be able to annex them for about 70 years, as I once accident or once did with Aberdeen in the 
who was with Scotland in the Clash... No, Saga of the Vikings. Saga of... Saga of the Titans, that game. Colony, excellent. Let's build another one. Through the super crazy... What the hell is going on here, Russia? Cheap system that they have a colonization. Ah, okay, 50 for heretics, 100 for heathens. Every game that I've seen it was 100, because we were playing a Norse game, and so it costs 100. Because everyone is a heretic to you. Sorry, heathen to you. Alright, corner's done. Let's move you. Whoa! Right. Uh, you can stay there, you can move up, you can move up. How are we doing money-wise? Oh, we're losing money again. Oh, we're gaining money again as we're looting. <laughs> this is so absurd. What am I doing? Alright, so if I were to piece Lithuania out right now, how much money would you give me? A bit. Do I have any way of getting Saxony? No, they never secured access. Who would I need it through? Bohemia. Bohemia I can get access through. Do it. Come at me, Saxony. Uh, don't get too far ahead of them. Mm, incoming. About there. Oh, hello. Ah, oh, crap. Not sure we're going to win this fight. Then again, we might. Russian armies are ridiculous. It's supposed to be all about manpower. Stop being stronger than Prussians. All right, we should be making a. F Whoa, that's all right. Yeah, because of reinforcements. Yeah, we will be losing a bit of money because of reinforcements, and that is a oi, oi. It's my territory. Only I'm allowed to be looting this stuff. Alright, so I don't need all of you over here anymore, I don't think. Who's the other one? Mazovia, which Theodora is already dealing with. Cheers, dud. Cheers, dude! Oh, and who's this? Below Zero has a navy, and they are doing things with it. Marvellous. Alright, who's still got money to loot? They do. As do they. In fact, this whole area down here is just one big money bag waiting to be exploited. Let's go back to about 50. Take out Uzbek next. We'll see. We'll see what this does for my financial situation. <laughs> Although I'm taking over a whole bunch of devastated land, so it's probably not going to help a massive amount. Recently looted and devastated land, I should hasten to add. 
Although we haven't actually taken that many casualties, which is a hilarious thing. Oh, so there is. Um, loot map mode. What shall I double you up with? Actually, to be fair, I don't use the estates very often. In fact, I never use them. You can be loot map mode. Loot, 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 loot. Aha! Lovely jubbly. All right, we're fighting the rebels down there. Are we going to win that fight? I think we are. Just about. Yep, thanks to the artillery in the back row. Marvellous. Uh, let's go and stack wipe them. Whoa! Whoa, whoa. Ah, son of a bitch. He beat the army with the general, which means I can't move the general. Really want to take Saxony out so I can piece them out for cash. Time to start the bread lines up soon, yeah. We're getting annoyingly close to another loan, and I refuse to take out a loan for a war. Especially when I don't need to. How far are you going? It's not even my capital anymore. Alright, you can leave. Oh, we do have a general here. Eh, we'll have another one. You're splitting your armies. What a fantastic plan. Nah, we'll... We'll go here then, if you insist. How are we doing this much damage? Uh, loot. So we need to leave one man there, one man there, one man there. And then you need to come over here. You need to come over. No, not you. Colonies become self-sustaining. Marvellous. You go there. Okay. Right. How long are these bloody sieges going? Come on. Alright, we're losing a lot of money again. Unacceptable. There goes Leipzig. Now I just need Thuringian. Thuringian. Yeah, I know it was a 9 to a 1. But also the Cossack damage and the Strelsky damage adds to that. Oh no, we're being blockaded. It's never below zero up there. Get it? <laughs> yes, I do get it. I have made that joke more than once. Alright. Uh, chance of new air. Fertile. Lovely. Still looting. Still looting. Have you just been defeated? You look rather underwhelming. Oh crap. Uh, shift consolidate. Doubt this is going to happen in time. Will you stop interrupting us? This might actually be a stack wipe. It wasn't. <laughs> Another hundred population in the colonies. Yay! Where are you going? Did you... You ran away. Alright, screw you. Leave me alone to my looting. Where are they running to? Here, yeah, go and kill them. There we go. Siege of Turingen's over. 
Sue for peace. For all the money. Oh, that's a lot less money I was hoping for. War reps. Definitely. I don't really care if you remain allied with them. It is to your own demise if you do. <laughs> Iron Crimeans against Russia. Is this 2015? It might be. Yeah, and that's what you get for going against me. Marvellous. Alright, Mazovia. You have been occupied? You have. Well, my bad. Oh, you're right. Right. Money, war reps. And then I wish to see my diplomatic map mode. For the lands. Lithuania, Kiva, Kazakh, and Uzbek. No one I care about. Money, war reps, boom. Lovely. Right, what's that do for my economy? We're making 12 ducats a month now, which is good. And we are automatically paying off some of the corruption. We're down to 9.3. Although it is increasing at the moment because we have got too much overextension, which needs to be dealt with. Thankfully, we had the admin for it. And we have Strelsky. We have Rebel Uprising Reduction, which we might well need. <laughs> it's a good border. It's a straight border. With a slight bulge. You want me to help you fight against Persia. In a war that you started. Alright. If there are opportunities for... Um, looting. Then I accept. Who are we fighting? Just Persia. I need to wait until my armies return to their homeland. Naturally. So there may be some delay before we are actually able to join the war on your behalf. Plus you'll need to get us access to everything you're trying to kill. But if these are areas with good amounts of loot, then I see there being absolute hello. No problem with us coming in and participating. Get claims on Livonia. I'll probably keep going east against the uh, step hordes. So yeah, it's not a bad idea. All right, spy network. You have to get me access though. Otherwise, nothing's going to happen. Because I'm not going to do it myself. Oh, that's the inflation reduction, which would also be useful. No, we need to get the technologies. Except we can't because we don't have the uh, institution embraced. It's definitely spreading. Printing press isn't, but everything else... Oh, printing press is spreading over here. Except low zero is not actually mine. Oh, Bohemia has it. Bohemia spreads it to me. That's fine. And now that it's kind of got a toehold... It should start spreading elsewhere through Russia. But as the nation gets bigger and bigger, it gets more and more freaking expensive. Ugh. War taxes. I totally forgot to do that last time. That helps. 